for joining us tonight on News UF 100. Tonight's topic is higher education. But first, Ollie Williams with the weather. It's gonna rain! Thanks, Ollie. Earlier this week, our education specialist, Kennedy Kaya, caught up with Boise State University professor, Dr. Spear. Thanks so much. I'm Kennedy here, your education specialist. I'm here with Dr. Spear, and we'd just like to ask you, what do you think the pros and cons are of a higher education? Well, the pros and cons of higher education probably include a variety of things. One, pros, I think that the purpose of higher education is not just about preparing individuals for a particular career but it's also about preparing people to be a part of our current society. About that? The cons, the continued defunding by state legislators. Mm -hmm. When I came here in 96, approximately 36% of what it cost to run Boise State came from the legislature. We're down to about 17%. That's what I believe. All right, fantastic. Thank you, Dr. Spear. All right, uh, again, I'm Kennedy Kaya. Back to you guys at the station. Thank you, Kennedy. That was very informative and educational. Now reporting live from the field, Alex Page. Alex! Hi, Wade. I'm here on the field in downtown beautiful Boise, and we are here to ask the residents why they think college education is important. I think the college education is very important for many personal growth, and just for life, keep going, keep going with your education. I think you probably think education is important because it helps you for your career. It teaches a lot about the things you do, interesting things. And I think it just helps make a well rounded person. So I think education is amazing because it actually is the future of humanity. And I believe that education excites and also challenges our youth so we can actually do something better with our lives. Well, you've heard it. This has been Alex Page on the field in downtown Boise. Back to you guys. Thanks, Alex. Earlier this week in a press conference, Eric Gilbert, the founder of Treefort, had this to say on the influence that higher education had on his career. I sort of made a conscious decision at one point that I was like, cool, well, I want to finish college, but I'm not really attached to the degree leading to anything. And so I just wanted to learn what I wanted to learn. Learn. So it's good I got all that theory and I got all that the discipline of practice. You know, that's what I was really taken out of that at, at the time. Thank you, Eric. That was very informational and educational. Next, we have a phone call coming in from Megan, a resident in Spokane, Washington. Hi, Megan. Hi, Holly. So, Megan, did you attend college? Yes, I went to college and yes, I finished. I received a grant for being a single mother. How was your college experience? I didn't socialize, but the classes and learning was a great experience because it boosted my confidence and I felt there was a future for me in a decent paying job. What have you gained from a higher education? I went to school for a better paying job. I got so much more. I love helping the people I serve and the people I work with. Fun, happiness, and companionship can all be benefits of having an education. Do you have any more comments for our viewers? Make good choices and learn everything you set out to learn, and your education and friendships you make will last a lifetime. Thank you, Megan. That was very informative and educational. And now, our philosophy specialist, Ellie and Satiki. Thank you, Wade and Holly. I'm here with information for you. Beliefs concerning education have shifted immensely over the past centuries. Early on, the world was granted with Manan. Here, he stated a few things about education, a few theories dealing with education that continues to be utilized today. Theory 1. You receive a diploma and your name instantly goes to the top of any job application list that you would apply. Theory 2. You're more there for the experience, for the overall development of a character. Theory 3. You come in and you go out, taking only the necessity classes you need to pass for your job. From then on, we move to Plato. A man who believes that a little child should be separated from his family and placed into a certain development school in order for them to become the specialist, also known as Menin's theory number three. Yet, as time wandered on, we moved into the Renaissance era. This was a more accepting time, a time where the world took flight. From here we have John Locke and Rousseau. These two share similar points that are shared between Menon's Theory 2, which is the development of the character. 
From Manan to Plato, and to Locke and Rousseau, it is clear to see the impact these men have made on education. Overall, a similar view can be seen amongst these philosophers and an average Joe walking downtown Boise. We see education as a place that strengthens and enlightens the core of a virtuous and moral man. Back to you, Aiden Holly. That's it for our 10 o'clock programming of UF 100 News. We hope that tonight's programming was educational and informative. I'm Wade Rossi. And I'm Holly Aragon. Signing off.